All right, so hi everyone. Um, today we're gonna do a home boot camp with a little bit of core at the end. So we'll have a 3015 set, four rounds there, and a 2010 set, four rounds there. Uh, pace yourself in the beginning. Uh, you'll want a medium set of dumbbells. You'll want three to six feet around you. Uh, we'll have a little bit of lateral motion, but everything is modifiable. So let's get started. Uh, we're going to get started with a warm-up. Uh, we're going to begin with a nice slow squat, about 30 seconds there, and then we will continue on. Squat to squat, John. There. Can you guys hear that? So we're going to start in a squat. Nice, even tempo. Touching down. You get to control the depth here. Slow to begin. About halfway through, we'll pick up the tempo. If you have a chair, now's a good time to find the corner of the chair. You can squat to the chair. Nice little depth marker there. From there, you can... Tap down to the knee, to the shin, to the toe. I know halfway, we're going to pick up the pace. So we're going to do it with that music. So from here, we're going to go a little bit quicker into a pumper squat. If you prefer to keep the reach, you can. If you want to add a little hop, depending on how you're feeling, you can include that as well. Behind me, we have my wonderful assistant, Kina. Kina. She's there. She'll be showing the uh, standard moves. I'll be showing the modifications. Three, two, one. Next up, we have Go jumping jacks. So, going through, you have all kinds of options here. You have your step out. You have your skip. And, of course, you have your full jack. When we get about halfway through here, we will include a little jack and jab. I'll show that. Too quiet. <laughs> That's All right, so from here we're going to transition our jack, our jab, out front. Get your breathing under control here. Getting warm, it's getting hot in the house. If you have a fan, you may need that nearby. Three, Next up, we one. have alternating, alternating reverse lunges, lunge nice and lunge. tall. Stepping back, taking your time here, never rushing the lunge. Finding your depth, it can be here. It can be all the way down, depending on where you're at. When we get halfway, we're going to add a reach behind. So, at the very back, keep doing yours for right now. We'll get here in a second. By adding that reach. That's halfway. There it is. Adding the reach. Stretching through the trunk. Staying tall. Never rushing a lunge. We are going to hit the deck next. So if you have a mat, now's a good time to find it. Three, two, one. Next up, we have a plank Plank rotation. rotation So, from here, you can be from the knee. Coming out, go over the elbow, then the wrist. Full body version up here. Same idea. We pivot along the feet. In the back, you'll see our box version using elevation. You can do this from the wall. All kinds of options. That's now from here, we're going to transition into a groiner. So similar, but this time we're going to bring the leg up. Sink into the stretch. Alternate sides. If there's a side that's a little tighter than the other, feel free to hang out there for an extra second. The worst thing about no music is they can hear me breathe. <laughs> Three, two. Last but not least in the warm up, mountain mountain climbers. Starting slow, and we're going to work our way quicker. Now, elevation option, floor option, also the standing option. About 10 seconds, we're going to pick up the pace.
Right. There we go. That's halfway. If you're on the floor, a little bit quicker now, hopefully generating some heat in the body. If you're up top, get moving. It's no longer a Sunday stroll. Now we're really starting to generate some heat throughout the core of the body. After this, the fun begins. Three, two, one. There we go. Hopefully you're a little bit warmer. We are entering into set one. Set one, we have a renegade row, a weighted burpee, dumbbell squat to an overhead press, bicep curl, and a band lateral shuffle. If you have these things with you, great. If you don't, say you don't have weights, you got cans, you have a small child, right? Nothing uh, bigger than about 40 pounds, I'd say. Uh, you got a towel. So for example, we will have a bicep curl here coming up. Recommendations there. If you don't have weights for a bicep curl, take a towel, roll it up. Put under your leg, find your grip, and resist the way up, and release. Great option for a bicep curl. Right, so as you're going through here, do what works for you. Do what you have available. We're going to get started in our renegade row in about 15 seconds. Renegade row, bringing it down. Here, side, side. Fighting to stay square to the floor, trying to stay parallel to the floor under you. So we'll get started with that. After that, I'm just gonna throw it at you. If you have weights available, great. If you don't, modify, don't use the weights. Bringing it down in five, four, three, two, one, renegade row. Mm -hmm. So non-weighted option in front. You have the option at any time to go from the knee. You're gonna tuck your tail through your hips. Core is engaged. We have 30 seconds on in this first round. 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. You have the weighted version behind me. From here, if you want to go elevation, similar idea. If you're using a chair, make sure it's propped up against something hard. Next up, weighted burpee. With or without the weight. With or without elevation. Three, here we go. Two, one. So your elevated three, option three. here. I'm down, out, out, in, in, to the top. If you'd like to use the weights, you have that option here. Notice everything stays the same, but on the way up, I'm holding on to the weights, adding a little extra challenge. Three, two, one. Good, rest. Yeah. Next up, we have a dumbbell squat to an overhead press, with or without the dumbbells. If you're using dumbbells that are pretty heavy, so you have one set of dumbbells, and they're a little bit heavier than what you would use for overhead, Three, two, take one dumbbell. One. Dumbbell squat to shoulder press. Stay tall. It's our quarter range to half range squat. Dumbbell stays very close to my body. Posture stays up. So I'm not here, <gasps> right, ugly. I'm staying nice and tall. At the very top of the movement, there's a line from my wrist all the way down to my heel, splitting my body Three, in half. Two, one, rest. Good, next up, bicep curl. It's a quick hitter, <laughs> 30 seconds on. Bicep curl with your dumbbells, with your towel. Three. Show you that Eight, option in a second. One, bicep curl. Squeeze the legs, root yourself into the floor. So the front of my legs is squeezing, the back of my legs is squeezing. If you are using that towel option, That's halfway. you get to control where the squeeze is. The more you resist with your leg, the harder it is. Three. Two, one. Left. Good, almost done with the first round. 
Last but not least, we have a band lateral shuffle. If you don't have a band, don't use it. Okay? If lateral movement is not your thing, don't worry about it. You're going to take this as a step out squat. So, the initial option up top. Otherwise, your step out squat down, nice and controlled. Stable in the knee, tall, squeezing the glute to bring yourself back to the top. Five seconds here. Three, two, one, rest. One round down. Nice and early. <laughs> nice and quiet. So we're going to start that whole thing over again in about 30 seconds up from the top of the grade row. I'm gonna show you the can option for that one now. And from there, the rest of it, you've kinda of gotten a feel for. You can see where you wanna bring it a little bit, where you wanna take away a little bit. If all you have for a weight is split pea soup, use it. Seven seconds, start to bring it down into that renegade row for round two. Three, two, one. So if you're using this for your weight, you're gonna stick to one side for 15 seconds. That is heavy. What have you got in here? Halfway, switch the side if you are using the single weight option. Three, two, one. Rest. Good. Next up, weighted burpee, round two. Remember, you have your elevation option. You have the full body. You have the weighted option. Three, two. Down, one. out, in and up. Weighted burpee. Now, those of you that come to my Thursday or my Saturday morning class, you'll hear the echo. But... Begin and end with a squat. So I'm not just throwing myself at the floor. I'm squatting down. I'm out in. And I'm up. Stable. Much cleaner, much more efficient when I start and end in that squat. Three, two, one. Good. Yeah. Grab your one dumbbell. If you have a child, this is the perfect exercise for them. You have them here. You squat. You push them overhead. Make sure there's no fan or anything here. Three, two, one. One more to shoulder press. It's uh, Lion King. You can do this unweighted if you'd like. Ten seconds here. Trying to keep the shoulder blades. Down and away from the ears. Three. Best you can. Two, one. Rest. Good. Bicep curl. Almost through round two. If at any time, biceps really start dying. Switch to Three, one side at a time. Two, Alternating. One. Bicep right here. Curl. Give yourself a little extra rest. We're gonna play with this one a little bit as we move forward. Play with the angles. That's halfway. Put the halfway one in the wrong spot. No, it's perfect. Three, two, one, last. Last one in set two, band lateral shuffle. So we showed the step out squat option. Last time, this time through, we can add to that, Three, two, or we can keep one, it right there. So your step out squat, that was the one right here. If you'd like this to be a little more cardio based, it could be a side to side, little hop. Not going super far, not going super deep. 
if you're choosing that lateral shuffle, you can go fast, you can go slow. You can add the reach to the floor. You can add the reach to the knee or the shin too. Very good. Two down. Two down. Two to go. Are we warm yet? <laughs> Just a little bit. <sighs> no messing around round three. <laughs> no, no breaks. <laughs> Starting back up in 20 seconds with our Renegade Row. Nice deep breath. 10 seconds, start to bring it down. Now remember your knee option. If at any time the lower back starts to act Two. up here. One. The knee option, One. tucking the tail, really bracing through the core, that'll save your lower back. If you're here and you're turning and you're yanking, right? That may be a hint. You need to break it down. I love the knee option in this one. Three, two, one. Good rest. rest. Weighted burpees are next. We have a weighted burpee race. <laughs> Game on. Going with Three, the weights this round. Two, one. Oh, you're on the push up. You like that? <laughs> Feel free. Add the push up. Lost count. <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> Seven seconds here. Three, two, one. <sighs> I think I got seven or eight. Dumbbell squat to shoulder press. Whew. My shoulder's a little tired. I'm going to go one dumbbell. Three, two. Anytime one. you need it, take the options. What worked in rounds one and two may not work in round three. Now is a great time to practice your breath control. Sharp inhale, hold, and then a sharp exhale at the end. Three, two, one, rest. Very nice, spice of curl next. Three, two, one, this time through, five, take the palms, five. make them go wide, creating a W. Feet still root through the floor. If you'd like, an offset stance can be helpful, but keep the chest open, right? So we're not here. That's not right. Nice and tall, chest open, arms wide. Three, two. One. Good. Yes. Fan lateral shuffle. Finishing round three. With the blue band, too. <laughs> These are the tough ones. Y'all going easy today. You know? Uh-uh. Three, two, one. Fan lateral shuffle. Now, a great way to mix this one up is to stay quick, or to stay slow and low. You have your quick option. You want to get deeper into the muscle. Stay low the whole time and really slow it down. One thing that I'm going to ask here, keep the knees over the toes. So it's not here. My knees are out and over. Three down. One to go. Then we get into our cardio round. Almost there. Oh, 
about halfway through the rest. <sighs> Goes so quick. Goes quick when it's 30 15. When it's 30 30, you're like, oh, I'm like, but 30 15, different story. We're going to do an extra five seconds of recovery just because. <sighs> so, dumbbells are ready. Round four, beginning in 10 seconds. Starting with that renegade row. Last time that you'll see these ones. Three, two, one. Renegade row. Still fighting to stay square to the floor best we can. Core is embraced. Ten seconds here. Taking the knee option anytime you need it. Taking the Three, elevation two, option too. One. Rest. Weighted burpees. I wish I could tell you we wouldn't see any more burpees. <laughs> they won't be weighted though. Down out, in and up. Three, two, one. Weighted burpee. Seven seconds. Three, two, one. One last. Nine. Next up, our squat to the shoulder press. Now, one thing you can do here, particularly if the shoulders are dying, you can separate this into Three, a lateral raise two, with your squat. One. One squat to shoulder press. So I'm up, elbows come up to shoulder height, a little 10 degree tilt but not higher. So I'm here, I come in, I have my squat. Three, two, one. Breathe. Rest. Bicep curls are next. Last time through. Can you do the seesaw? One goes up, other goes down. Three, two, one. So, your grip is yours, but it's a leveling problem. If this dumbbell's all the way up, I switch, I switch. It's constant motion. It burns, we're halfway. 10 seconds. Almost there. Three, two, one. Uh, rest. Final round. Final round. Band lateral shuffle. I can't find my band. There it is. Do you really want it? <laughs> Do I? Three, two, one. Band lateral shuffle. Quick, slow, adding the reach. Doing the step up squat. Whatever works for you here. Few steps to one side, few steps to the other. Good time for some loud bass. You know, earth shattering. Three, two, oh. First round in the books. Weights go away in the second round. You do not need to wait anything. A little cardio burst round. We'll give you the rundown. <laughs> so, set two. We have a reverse lunge, alternating step back. Can be shallow, little tap, can be deep. You can add the reach if you'd really like. Then we have a squat thrust with a tuck jump. Squat thrust is just a nice name for our burpee, right? But the bottom half, it's okay. All right, so we're down out in either going into power knee or 
our tuck jump. So after that, we have plank with punches, tricep hip dip. You'll want some sort of elevation. You can do that from the floor if you'd like. Or if you have a dumbbell, you can always use tricep overhead extension. I'll show you that. Then we have our plie squat jumps. <sighs> Any knee, hip issues, probably going to take these squat jumps out. We'll show you the modifications there. A little extra breath. 20 seconds to prepare. So this is an unweighted round. If you want to add weight to any of these, that is your choice. However, I wouldn't recommend it. This one is definitely a lot quicker. Moves much faster, 2010. We're going to start with our alternating reverse lunge. Nice and tall. Again, this can be a quick step back. Notice the knee over the toe, never way out ahead. You get to control the depth. We have the nice jump option behind. Good, next up we have our squat thrust with the tuck jump. With the elevation, we'll be back here. Without elevation, we'll be up here. Three, two, one. So level one, you can step out, out, in, in, and up, up. Level two, we're out and in with power knee. You want to include the tuck one. jump? Go for yes. it. Next up, we have plank with punches. We're going to play with this one as we go through. We have four rounds in the 2010 segment. But right now, Three. we're down. Three. One. Low plank, high plank, 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 doesn't matter. The idea is hands come out in front, we stay square to the floor. Modification, shoulder tap. This is a controlled Three, movement. Two, one. Good. Yes. Flip it over. Grab your chair if you have one. Otherwise, we're down to the floor. In the Three, tricep hip dip. Two. The further away my legs are from the chair, the harder it is. But I want my tail always right up against the chair. Shoulders away from the ears, bending the arm and squeezing the back of the arm at the top. Three, two, one, rest. squat jump is next. You want to show the modification for this one? Great. So, plie. Knees are out, toes are out. The option behind there. Nice little monster walk. The heel click is an option. It can be a toe tap in between. Three, two, one. Rest. Round one in the books. Back to the top, 30 seconds. This one feels light. Nice and airy after that first round. <laughs> Reverse lunge begins in 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Alternating reverse lunge. Now, great option here. If you're looking for a little bit more than the step back, but not quite all the way to the jump, is the skip option. Just a light little tap, and then the step back finishes it. Two, one, rest. Squat thrust, tuck jump. Elevation in the back, full thing here in the front. Three, two, one, squat thrust, tap jump. Use your step out options as needed. Use your elevation as needed. This can be right up against the wall. This is my wall. I'm out, I'm in, I'm up. Out, in, up. Three, two, tap, tap. One. Rest. Plank with punches is next. We're gonna play with this one this round. Instead of the hands going Three, forward, we're gonna two, use the feet. One. So a foot tap, cross side. Tapping your other heel. Keep the body flat. Keep the hips and the backside engaged. So I'm squeezing them all the way through. 
three, two, one. Good. Tricep hip dip is next. Your option here. If you have a dumbbell, three, keep the elbows three, in tight. One. Tricep hip dip. Squeezing to the top. We have a great toe tap option in the back. If you want a little bit more, the regular tricep dips aren't enough for you. Three, two, one. Yes. Play squat jumps. Finishing up round two. Three, two, one. These toes out. Play great modification here in the back. Right, working the inner legs, taking a ball, taking a basketball or a little air ball, squeezing that between. Three, two, one, last. Two down, two to go. Light sips of water in between. If you need it, pause the video. I didn't think of that. They can pause the video. <laughs> they can put you on pause, Mr. Sullivan. <sighs> Getting started in three, three two, two, one. Alternating reverse line. Now, if you choose to jump here and you get to the bottom, you're wobbly. Get the stability first, then push out of it. We never Rush, a lunge. Three, we want to be very two, stable here. One, yes. Back to our squat thrust with the tuck jump. I think I'm going to go a little inch in this round. Three, two, one. Squat thrust, tuck jump. Any mixture, any combination of jumping, stepping out, Jumping or power kneeing up. Three, two, one, rest. Plank with punches is next. This time through, our punch is going to be a step Three, out with the hand. Two, so we're going to go to forearm one, plank this time. Plank with punches. On the forearms, staying square, tapping outside the body. It can be right up next to you, it can be way out. The fight here is to stay square to the floor. Three, two, one, rest. Back to the tricep hip dip. I'll go to the floor. Three, two, Shoulders one. down and away. Don't lose them. At the very top, you can slow it down as long as you're squeezing the back of the arm. Three, two, one, rest. Go ahead, play squat jump. Finishing off round three. Three, two, one, play squat jump. Now, you want to slow it down? Keep a little pulse. Out of reach. Three, two, one, rest. Three down. Just one more round to go. Then we got a little bit of fun. Then we get you out of here. Under 10 minutes remaining. All up? Uh, All up. The only way. <laughs> yeah. I'll go all out. You do whatever you do. <laughs> Game on. <laughs> Three, there we go. Back to the three, alternating reverse one. stepping lunge. Alternating reverse lunge. Little well, additional challenge here. You stay low the whole time. Seven seconds. Three, two, one. Good time. <laughs> Squat thrust with a tuck jump. Three, two, one. Slap, 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 slap. Three, two, 
Yes. Plank with the punches are next. We've shown you three options. Pick your favorite. Three, two, one. Plank with punches. If you're starting to lose it here, could be that the feet are a little too narrow. Keep a wide base. Find that center of balance. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Ooh. Rest. Try to set hip dip. Almost there. You got a bench. Three, two, one. Keep the shoulders away. If you want even more, add the leg raise. If you want even more than that, the little foot tap from earlier, always your option. Three, two, one. Rest. Wait, let's watch him. Almost there. You see the light. Three, two, Come on. one. Three, two, one. Halfway. Three, two, one. <sighs> And breathe. And breathe. Light sips. We are almost done. Final rounds. A little uh, core. Cardio round called obnoxious. Not because I'm obnoxious. But 30, 20, 10. We go through everything for 30 seconds. We go through everything for 20 seconds. We go through everything for 10 seconds. So they get easier as we go along. The first round, that's the meat. After that, it gets a little lighter, a little looser. Between movements, you have five seconds. We are cycling between squat thrusts. You haven't seen those yet. Mountain climbers, body saw, and jumping jacks. As a reminder, with the mountain climbers, you can be up, you can be with elevation, you can be on the floor. With the body saw, forearm plank. Imagine your entire body is a saw. There's a big log in front of you. So we're down. We're sawing. A little bit at a time. The further out I go, the more I have to brace here. The other two, you kind of know. So, 13 seconds to prepare. This is our final round. 30 seconds through everything, 20 seconds, 10 seconds. And we're done. Starting with the squat thrust. Now, generally speaking, the squat thrust is the bottom half of our burpee. So we're down, out, in, reset. I don't come all the way up. I stay in the squat. Now, this can be quick. This can be with elevation. But it's constant movement. Three, two, one, rest. Five seconds. Mountain climbers are next. Three. Up in the air or down on the floor. 30 seconds through everything in this first round. Now, if you're here, hey, hi, right? Not a walk in the park. We're hauling, we're moving. You got 10 seconds left here. Three. Two, one. Five three, seconds. Body saw is next. Three, Forearm. Two. With elevation. Body on saw. the floor. A little bit of shoulder stability work here as well. The shoulders are dead. The elevation option may be the flavor for you. Don't forget to breathe.
three, two, one, rest. Good, bring it up. A little active recovery, three, jumping jacks. Two, Take your one, options. Jumping jacks. You have your step out option. You have the skipping option. If you need a little rest here, there's nothing wrong with a little of this. Or even jump some rope. Twenty second rounds are coming up. Three, two, one. Rest. Good. Start to gear it back up. Squat Three, thrust. Two, Twenty seconds one. this time. Squat thrust. Three, two, one, rest. Mountain climb. Three, two, one, mountain climbers. Now you want the power knee version. If you want to go cross body, if you want to go wide knee, totally up to you. Make it yours. Three, two, one, rest. We are under. Two Three, minutes to go. Two, body saw coming one. up. Body saw. Any core movement. Think about bringing the ribcage to the hip bone, creating that little cutout in your middle. Really engaging the core. Three, two, one. Rest. Bring it up, jumping jacks. Three, Round two. Two, one. Jumping jacks. Of three. Oh, if you want more, if you want more, do that. Three, two, one. Final one. time through, squat thrust. Three, two, Whatever you got left, one. now's the time. Thrust. Three, two, one, rest. Mountain climb. Three, two, one. Mountain climbers. Three, two, one. Body saw rest. coming up. Three, two, one. Body saw. Three, two, one. Rest. And wrap it up Three, with a little jumping jacks. Two, one, jumping jacks. Three. She's going to say it. One, your timer is complete. Oh, how nice. All right, you did it. Woo. Woo Nicely done. Thank you so much for coming in today. Don't forget to have a nice stretch and a cool down and have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next time.